real quick just before I start, just a reminder to take a breathe in, breath in, sorry, and um, just breathe out, just chill. And the point of that is pretty much to show how the air fills you up. It gives you life. It gives you something to appreciate that we don't on a day-to-day -day basis. And guess what? It's free. So, self-acceptance. Something that is really tricky to get into, mainly because we get kind of shoved with the, uh, the expectations on what we should be, kind of, I guess, quote-unquote, should be chasing in life, pretty much from like a, a school age, uh, a sort of, I guess, pre-made plan that's kind of done for you. And um, that's not the worst solution in the world, obviously, since it has a lot of benefits in terms of having to think a little bit less and, you know, you still have opportunities to still kind of make the most of that. However, I ask, is there more or is there something that could suit the individual or groups? So it's kind of more tailored for them. And a lot of times you might think that the kind of systems that are kind of normalized and things like that, they're kind of coming to a halt because a lot of people are starting to realize now that there's more to life than just what we know in terms of widely available opportunities. But that's more on the work side of life. That's not exactly what I'm trying to portray in this kind of in this video, man. But it still is sort of important because Again, you want to kind of forge your own way in life in a sense where you kind of get fulfillment. And I, th I personally think that you don't get that unless you kind of have to sort of let it kind of come to you. And from that comes from a lot of self-exploration. And a big part of self-exploration is developing the skill of self-acceptance. Self-acceptance. So we're always taught that we're not enough and that we should always kind of be chasing something else, something more. And by the way, yeah, I'm... Um, waiting for the 9am to start. What do I do usually on a day when I wake up at 6am on this game until 9? Do I just use that time to focus on my farm and then go to the city? Or I know you guys in the comments have a, a flower dance has begun in the forest. Where is the forest? Is that the wizard place, right? Shoot. Okay, let me quickly. It's open till 8 till 6. I know you guys have been telling me so many good tips and they've all been super, super useful which I will do. Um, the thing about this game, because I only record one day for one episode, it's kind of hard to kind of progress so far in the game, so I'm not sure how I should um, kind of focus on maybe longer episodes or just pre-recorded gameplay. I don't know, I'll, I'll just figure out somehow. Oh, what in the world is this? This is a wizard tower, right? I can't impress the mats right now. Well, there's only one way to go, I, 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 I suppose. Nothing beats a good waterfall, honestly. I really want to see one, man. I've actually never, ever seen one before. What is this? Okay. So you guys said something about buying plants. We could do a that expensive 2,500. We probably should get some gifts, right, for the for the people in the town, but my gold is low. It's pretty crazy. All right, we're not going to shop. Oh, although we probably should shop, right? Mm, we'll buy one. Buy one. Oh, recipe. That's expensive. Okay. Just one daffodil and one dandelion. Oh, we can't buy it because we don't have storage. Goodness, I did not prepare for this at all. My bad. Um, I guess we don't need this, right? Fiber, we can get it from a lot of places, right? Right? I'm gonna put it in the bin. Please don't shout at me. I probably need to use it for something, but it's gotta go for now. But yeah, um, we're kind of always taught as well that we're not really completely enough and that we should always be chasing something, always something more where the journey just never ends right and so this isn't really a video to kind of say be useless in a way because you might be thinking ah oh, I'm just gonna feel useless because I'm not gonna be doing anything but that's the kind of whole sort of thing when it comes to self-acceptance and becoming whole because you're accepting you for you in this current present moment without any expectations without anything neutral a very neutral kind of point of view I want to talk to everyone but I feel like there's something to do. What do I do? I'll ask Sam to be my dance partner. I, I mean... Um... Did I? Okay, good. Let's go for someone else, please. I guess I have to find someone to dance with. Okay. Also, one goal I have in this game is to make that man less grumpy. Somehow. Some way. Um... What do I do? I'm so confused. What? I'm genuinely so confused on what to do now. Ah! I know this man should have dancers. He's cool. All right, no one has answers. Um. Anyway, I have no clue whatsoever. 
I've just been thrown into this kind of cutscene and I have no idea. Um, and I can't get out, can I? Ah, anyway, back to the video. Self-acceptance, sorry, I went on a bit of a tangent there. Um, but yeah, this isn't really a video to say to be useless in a way, but let's try and change our perspective in terms of how we view ourselves in this kind of system that we call life. Because you won't be able to keep up hope in terms of crafting the life that you want without hope. And to me, this can't be achieved unless we develop self-acceptance. Because the foundations that you're going to build your building in your house is something where you're going to be accepting yourself no matter what. Because the way that you can kind of grow in life is going to be through that positive kind of mindset. Ah, oh, so I had to talk to the man in the corner. I got it now. Ah, oh, goodness, that took long enough, didn't it? Right, let's see what we've got going on here today. So we have some basic two-bit dancing. That's um pretty all right. They're hitting the sequence. I'll be honest. There, that's that's a hey, two bit two bit really be popping off. Um, where's my character though? Where am I? I am not anywhere. Ah, oh, there I am, all by myself. Um, I'm not gonna lie. What the, my favorite character in this game is this the the, the hillbilly the hillbilly dude, um, or whatever his name is. Anyway, um, yeah, you can't have hope unless you have self acceptance and. Developing self-acceptance, how does that come about now? So, learning that no matter what, everything's okay and everything's kind of gearing towards the right direction. And the sky looks pretty pretty nice right now. Let's go and water our plants and then head off to the episode today. Um, and it's, it's hard to build because you kind of have to prove to yourself that you're worthy enough. So sometimes it kind of comes through actions. That's why things like discipline work really well because you're doing what you're telling yourself. And so you're basically building trust within yourself. But things like discipline should just come naturally when you have enough of a purpose. And I'll go into that in different episodes. But yeah, pretty much you just want to um, just acknowledge that life is really random. Life is really random. Anything can happen. And that no matter what and where life takes you, you're going to be okay. You're, you're more than enough to attract exactly that way is that you want out of life. And if you don't feel like you are, you might need to develop some of the skill set or at least the mindset to believe that you can do it. And so I guess you just got to do that, right? You just got to kind of go through the motions of learning. Say, for example, it's a skill. You feel like you're not good enough to take 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 part in some kind of smart profession, right? But if you put in the work, you put in the kind of self-awareness in terms of how you learn best. Some people learn better visually. Some people learn better by practicing. Some people learn, but learn better by audio. It's things like that when you kind of learn how to go off your strengths and weaknesses. That's basically what you want to do. And so you can basically accomplish anything by doing that, but you're not going to get anywhere with that kind of negative attitude of, I can't do it, I'm not good enough. So learn to accept yourself, learn to um, encourage yourself, because without that you ain't going to have hope. And through every decision and every kind of setback, every kind of, even the kind of steps forward, it doesn't change the fact about how you feel about yourself today. And at every any given point. So take all you will from that. A little bit of a rushed episode. Because I'm um, not going to lie, I'm trying to play some Valorant, so yeah. I'll see you next time, and peace and blessings to you all. If you do want me to go more in to topic on this, more in depth on this topic, sorry, write a comment down. Um, but yeah, anyway, see you guys.